Welcome to this video series on finger independence exercises. Finger independence exercises train our fingers to play independently of each other. These incredible exercises have been taught for generations through my unique music lineage. My pre-college piano teacher was Gray Perry, who studied many years with Isidore Philippe at the Paris Conservatory of Music. The legendary teachings of Isidore Philippe were born from his amazing teachers that included Camille Saint-Saëns, as well as George Mathias, who studied with Friedrich Chopin. Isidore Philippe also studied with Theodore Ritter, who studied with the infamous Franz Liszt. Perhaps Mr. Perry's most significant legacy through Isidore Philippe was from Stephen Heller, who studied with Carl Czerny. Czerny learned from none other than Ludwig von Beethoven, who studied with Franz Joseph Haydn. I'm very proud to be part of this spectacular piano teaching lineage, and I'd like to share this with you. Let's begin the training of our fingers to play with evenness, strength, endurance, and velocity. First, we're going to place our fingers on the piano, C, D, E, F, G, fingers one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna hold down our thumb, but remember, we're not gonna be using any wrist movements. Our fingers are gonna be doing all of the work. We're gonna play slow, because that's gonna give us the most benefit with independence exercises. Hold down the thumb, Check your wrist to make sure that your wrist is very tall. We're going to repeat fingers two and three while holding down our thumb. We're going to do four more. Next, we're going to hold down our third finger. Repeat fingers two and one. Again, check your wrist to make sure it's tall. You want to be playing on the tip of each finger. Second finger holds. Fingers three and four repeat. Check the arch of your hand. Your knuckles should be tall. Fourth finger is now gonna hold. Repeat fingers three and two. Keep it slow, don't rush. Play on the tip top of each finger. Third finger holds. Fourth and fifth fingers repeat. Now here you wanna make sure that your hand doesn't collapse but it stays tall. You don't want to play on the side of your fifth finger. You want to play on the tip. Now the fifth finger is going to hold and four and three repeat. Keep it slow, keep it tall, and keep it strong. Now we're going to do the left hand. C, D, E, F, G. Fingers five, four, three, two, one with our thumb on G. We're going to start with the thumb and hold down the G. Repeat fingers two and three. Again, check the wrist. Make sure your wrist is tall. We're going to hold down the third finger and play fingers two and one. Make sure your fingers are always curved. Third finger lifts. Second finger holds, three and four repeats. Tall wrist. Check your knuckles to make sure they're not caving in like that. Fourth finger holds. Fingers three and two, repeat. Again, we want to keep it slow. Here's our third finger holding, and four and five repeat. Again, keep your fifth finger very tall. You don't want the outside of your hand to cave in like that. Fifth finger is going to hold. Stay tall. Four and three. Repeat. And that completes independence exercise number one. To receive the greatest benefit, only play these exercises hands alone so that constant attention can be given to your hand position. 
Once exercise number one has been mastered and feels comfortable for your hands, it's time to proceed further into the series. Thank you for viewing this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel below so that you receive the latest training, teaching, and performances. Next, we'll continue to independence exercise number two.